I think we all at one point in our lifting careers have given up and just dirty bulked. But the good news is now you can supersize yourself without hitting the McDonald's supersize menu. So you can get the muscle mass without the heart palpitations. Now that, that, that was just me. All jokes aside, Miracle Labs has rebranded their supersize. Today we're gonna be talking about it. I have the triple stuffed flavor. We're we'll talking about the ingredients in it, what we like about it, because honestly, this mask gainer really does stand out from the competition, and what the experience is gonna be like, because these ingredients in here really do lend to a very interesting experience. So if you're not familiar with the mask gainer market, here's a little bit of a lowdown. High calories, huge scoops, tons of sugar, and really bad sources of nutrients. One of the reasons I like supersize is because not just of the amount of macronutrients, you get 120 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat, and 45 grams of protein, but the sources of this nutrition is actually really good. First ingredient you see up top is oat flour. It's not a maltodextrin. Not that we hate maltodextrin, there's just some bad forms of it out there, and we're looking for a whole food source here. You're also getting your whey protein concentrate. You're also getting some whole milk powder and some inclusions for some awesome flavor. Now, I'm not gonna get into the big whole natural natural versus unnatural debate, but it's obvious that getting your food from as close to whole food sources as possible is what we're really looking for here. And that's why I like so much this oat flour as the main carbohydrate source, the uh, whole milk powder as a source of both fats and proteins and some carb. Now it does stand to say it's really important for, to note if you are lactose intolerant, this is not a product for you. The whole milk powder will probably send you to the bathroom. But if you can handle uh, lactose or milk as a part of that, I recommend milk to anyone who's trying to put on Wait, I am big on chocolate milk when I'm bulking, but whole milk for growing kids, athletes, or men that are athletes, or women, we're, you know, gender neutral here, of course. Milk is an awesome, awesome uh, source of nutrition to be using for that. And that's why we like the whole milk source here as actually a source of a few different macronutrients, not just protein in this case. So like I said, oat flour is the first one, the first ingredient. That's the first source of carbohydrates. You get a ton of that from there. Next, you get cold processed, ultra filtered, non-GMO whey protein concentrate. Now with Merica, they don't actually uh, transparently give us the source of the protein. With Core, with Merica Energy, you do get a lot of the full transparency. It's just not part of the brand here. It, it's not a knock at all. Uh, we will be trusting America that they did use a good quality uh, whey protein concentrate here. And maybe on our next call, we'll see if we can get some information to share on where it comes from. That being said, I like to hope that it's a WPC 80. We don't know for sure though, but although we do love Doug's products and I'm pretty sure it probably is. From there, we got the whole milk powder. Like I said, awesome ingredient there. From here, we get into uh, some uh, of the more experienced stuff. There's some organic cane sugar here, and that's obviously gonna lend to some of the added sugars in here. Out of 120 grams of carbs, there's 24 grams of added sugar, but we're not sure if that's coming from the organic cane sugar or the chocolate sandwich cookie pieces. Now, organic cane sugar, a lot of people, you know, We'll prefer a cane sugar, especially because it's organic. We like seeing that it's, it's a whole food source there. It's not just table sugar. It, you know, it does stand to say it's still sugar. If you're, you know, worried about sugar or whatever, honestly, if you're buying a masking, you probably shouldn't be that worried. But like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, a lot of the market of mass gainers are very high on poor sources of carbohydrates or sugar most of the time. And so for this, I'm happy that whatever form, is, you know, whatever difference between the next ingredient and this in terms of where the sugar is coming from, it's at least coming from a great source here. If you're looking to put on mass, you're gonna be getting some sugar in your diet. It's important to spike that insulin to get mass going. And so at least here you're getting it from a good source. It's something that I am a fan of and I definitely support. And now we get into the real experience of the product. It's the triple stuffed flavor. And because of that, we're gonna get chocolate sandwich cookie pieces. Now that's awesome obviously the nice generic name for Oreos, right? It, you really don't see too many big pieces because this has been really finely ground up, but it has a really nice, both creamy and cookie texture in here. Uh, there's a lot of the cream in it. Obviously it's triple stuff, so you get a lot of the cream in there, uh, but you get a lot of that sandwich as well. It's awesome flavor. Definitely a big fan of it. Now, what I like what they do for America when they make these uh, panels is they bolden the ingredients that are the main ingredients and they uh, have regular font for the stuff that makes up those main ingredients. So here you have the chocolate sandwich cookie pieces and then after that, all the ingredients of those chocolate sandwich cookie pieces is in a normal font. So that unbleached and rich flour, wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mononitrate, all that stuff is within the Oreo, we'll say it. Um, <clears throat> now it's imp important to note, 
If you're looking for the most natural thing in the world, you probably shouldn't be eating something that has Oreos in it. Now, after the Oreos, we get into the natural and artificial flavors. They don't tell us exactly what those are. It's not really a big thing that they do here uh, with America. That's totally fine. I don't think that a lot of people that come into the America brand are really looking to find out exactly where these different flavors came from. But after that, they do disclose that uh, sucralose is gonna be the sweetener that's used here. I like sucralose, I'm not a fan, I'm not, I'm not against them using it here. We have seen some brands getting more into the stevia, the monk fruit, stuff like that. But here with Merica, they're not pulling any punches. They're not worried about it being natty and all that. Sucralose is definitely the way to go. Now they use a gum blend of cellulose gum, xanthan gum, and carrageenan. This is basically to make sure that the product is thick enough. Although with the amount of oat flour and whole milk powder in here, that's not gonna be a problem. Lastly, we have two more trademarked ingredients. We got a uh, Pro Hot, Prohydroxy P, which is a proprietary enzyme blend of lipase, lactase, and amylases, as well as Digizep, which is a, pro a proprietary enzyme blend of amylase, lactase, protease, lipase, and cellulase. What I like about that is that they go with two different digestive enzyme blends. They're a little bit different on each one, so by adding them together, you get good sources of a few different digestive enzymes. There is some overlap in there, but you get a lot of different digestive enzymes. And honestly, there's a lot of uh, food within this powder. You get a lot of oat flour, you get a lot, uh, there's, there's 20 grams of fat. So that light base in there is gonna help out with that. This is probably a product for people who have more of an iron stomach who can deal with more food volume, uh, things that are a little bit more processed. But even if you're on the fence of whether or not you can really afford that well, uh, not money wise, but digestion wise, Digizeb and the Pro Hydroxy P are really gonna help out with that. I think this is an awesome source for a lot of people who are trying to push the scale a little bit. If you're towards the end of your off season and you're having a hard time getting food in, you can use this easily to get some more calories in. There's a lot of different reasons that this could fit into your uh, regimen. I definitely recommend it for a lot of people. Uh, and I'm not big on recommending mass gainers very often because most of the time it's just poor sources of nutrition. But this one is a rather well put together product in terms of quality sources. Uh, and we just love the Merrick brand. Lastly, there's sunflower less than at the end of that as an emulsifier for the protein, which is pretty normal and it's better than using a soy less than, of course, but I don't think that America does anything with soy because we ain't no soy boys here in America. In terms of experience, uh, the oat flour is the first ingredient in the product. That's important to know because when you mix it up, if you've ever mixed up oats, like blended them and put protein in with it, you know that the, the exact texture I'm going to talk to you about. It is a thicker texture. You can feel the oats and I'm not against that, but it is important to note that if you have a problem, if you like a gag reflex with, with that kind of stuff, you're going to notice this. It's a thick shake. It's a textured shake. It's not just like thick milkshake, it has texture to it. When you swallow it, you're gonna feel it going down the back of your throat, insert the joke here. But honestly, it is gonna be an experience. I'm warning you ahead of time. If you're someone who can't handle thick textures, this product's probably not for you, at least maybe not in this flavor, um, maybe one of the other ones, but I definitely think that the, uh, that the pros outweigh the cons here. Um, and you, you know, I've been quoted a few different times on the channel saying, you know, I would drink my own piss if it made me bigger. I think that most people should adopt that thought process if they really want to commit to their goals. Getting a little bit of uh, oat flour texture in your protein shake is really not a bad thing with the amount of uh, benefits that you can get from using something like supersized. So I've been enjoying the triple stuff flavor. Uh, I, I've had it a few times this week already. And, and one of the things that I do want to note here is there's 11 servings per container. If you are looking to run this for a whole month, um, maybe consider using it only on training days. Uh, that's really when your calories should be higher or uh, plan to stock up to make sure that you can use it the whole way. I don't want you guys to grab it and then run out of it too quickly. The good news is you can save money on it with uh, coupon code PRICEWOW. It will save you a decent amount. Uh, and I would definitely recommend that you grab some soon because with the supply chain currently, proteins are getting quite expensive and supersized is high in proteins. So definitely be on the outlook for that. Uh, or if you find any deals, snatch them up because the supply chain is getting a little bit rocky right now. We wanna make sure that you guys are getting as big as possible as efficiently as possible. But one of the things that I like is that Doug from Core has been, uh, and obviously Doug from America is the same guy. They've been really upfront about their prices and, and with the consumers, and they, I really do appreciate how honest and transparent they've been with about that. So uh, if anything does happen to come, if it does start to look worse, we'll be able to warn you guys, hey, go get your super size quickly. But for now, this is honestly one of my favorite mask gainers on the market. I'm really a huge fan of the sources of the nutrition. Um, the texture is kind of cool. I kind of enjoy having that texture. Uh, it's, it's very different from a normal uh, protein, but I just wanted to be upfront and let you guys know. If you don't like that's that really grainy texture of oats honestly you probably should just suck it up and take it because we're about getting big here so anyway 
All jokes aside, I love this America brand. I love the way they talk to their customers. I love the things that they provide. They do do a good job with good quality while also packing a punch with their marketing and humor. I do have to say we got these products for free or this product for free, I only have one of these. And we do have a business affiliate relationship with America Labs. So that all being said, maybe there's some bias there, but we're big fans of what Doug and the team are doing over there. Soon we'll be running down to Core headquarters and we'll be talking about them everything, America, Core, Arms Race, and all that stuff. So be on the lookout for those contents soon. But until then, guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow.